Okay, good. Now let's learn about the difference of squares. This is the second special product for today. Okay, so we're going to, let's look at these here. When we're given x plus 3 times x minus 3, let's look at the answer for that. Okay, so x plus 3 times x minus 3, use our FOIL method. So the first terms, x times x gives us x squared. And the outside terms, x times negative 3 gives us negative 3x. Inside terms, 3 times x gives us positive 3x. Then the last terms, 3 times negative 3 gives us negative 9. Good. So simplify, x squared negative 3x plus 3x gives us 0x, so that disappears. Okay, so we're left with x squared minus 9. Okay, so that's kind of nifty. You'll notice that the middle term just disappeared. They canceled out. Negative 3x plus 3x. They were gone. Okay, so if we look at our answer here, okay, compare it to our, our binomials. Okay, the first term of the binomial is x, and then our answer, the first term is x squared. Okay, in, back in the original binomial, the second term is 3. And if we look at our answer, the second term is 9, which is 3 squared, okay? And these are um, separated by a subtraction sign, okay? Let's see if we get a similar answer for this next one here, okay? Use our FOIL method to expand these. 2x times 2x gives us 4x squared, okay? Then the outside terms, 2x times 5 gives us 10x. Then negative 5 times 2x gives us negative 10x. And then negative 5 times positive 5 gives us negative 25. Good. Simplify this. You'll notice that those middle terms disappear again. 10x minus 10x gives us 0x. Okay, so there's no point in writing that. And I still have that minus 25. Okay. So when we multiply binomials that were the same, except for one of them was added and one of them was subtracted, and same with this one, we have a 2x minus 5 and a 2x plus 5. So these binomials are the same, but the sign is different between them, okay? When that's the case, you'll notice that if you look at the, our answer, okay, the first term of the answer is the square of the first term of the binomial. The second term of the answer is the square of the second term of the binomial, okay? 2x, so if we square 2x, that gives us 4x squared. If we square 5, that gives us 25, okay? And then our answer is always going to be a subtraction sign separating those two terms. That's why it's called a difference of squares. Okay? It is the difference, so subtraction, of the squares of both the terms of the binomials. Okay? Good. So let's write the rule for this. Our rule, if we have a plus b times a minus b, our answer is simply a squared minus b squared. Okay? This is a nice, convenient, easy rule that makes these questions very simple, okay? So if I have x plus 3 times x minus 3, my a values, my a value is x, my b value is 3. All I have to do, plug this into my formula of a squared minus b squared. That gives me x squared minus 3 squared, okay? And that gives me x squared minus 9. Good. You'll notice that it's not x, it's not negative 3 squared, okay? That minus sign isn't in the brackets, okay? So I'm just squaring the 3, okay? So the result of that is x squared minus 9. Okay, good. So, and that's the same answer as when we went through and did FOIL, x squared minus 9. Let's try the next one using the rule just to make, make sure. So we have our a value and our b value. Okay, a is 2x, b is 5 plug that into our formula of a squared minus b squared, and that gives us 2x squared minus 5 squared. Okay. Simplify that, apply the square to the 2 and the x, that gives us 4x squared minus b squared, so 5 squared is 25. Good, 4x squared minus 25, and that's what we got when we did it using the FOIL method. Good. So just make sure when you plug in your a and your b values into the rule here, make sure you plug it in in brackets. That way you know that the, the 2x is getting squared and not just the x, okay? 
and you know that a 5 is getting squared and not a negative 5. Okay? Good. Let's try let's try using um, we'll, we'll apply this difference of squares to these questions here, okay? So remember our rule, if we have a plus b times a minus b, our answer is simply a squared minus b squared, okay? So here's my a value, value and my b value. Plug it into my formula, and I get x squared minus, my b value is 11, minus 11 squared. Okay. So my answer is just x squared minus 121. Okay. For this one here, my a value is 3x, my b value is 6. Okay. I have 3x plus 6, 3x minus 6. Okay. So you'll notice that fits the criteria for a plus b times a minus b. Okay. So that means that this is going to be equal to a squared plus b squared. Okay. Or a squared minus b squared, sorry. I don't know why I said plus. Okay. a squared minus b squared. Okay, our a value is 3x. Put it in brackets so we know the square applies to the 3 and the x. Minus our b value is 6, so minus 6 squared. We simplify this. This gives us 9x squared minus 36. Okay, so there's our answer for that one. Last one we'll do for this difference of squares. Okay, we have 4x plus 3y times 4x minus 3y. That fits the criteria for a plus b times a minus b. So that means that this is going to be equal to a squared minus b squared. Okay? This is our a value. This is our b value. Plug in what we know. Okay? Our a is 4x minus our b is 3y. Okay? So that square applies to the 4 and the x. So that gives us 16x squared minus the square applies to the y and the 3. So minus 9y squared. Good. Okay. Now let's just review our patterns. Okay. So the rule for perfect square trinomials. Okay. So if we have an a plus b squared or an a minus b squared, these are the rules we can use to get our answer. Okay. For expanding those. If we have an a plus b times an a minus b, okay, our rule is just that that's equal to a squared minus b squared. Okay. That's a difference of squares. Okay, we have two squares being subtracted, hence the name difference of squares. Okay, so now let's just do one question of each type. Okay, so we have an x plus 3y squared. Okay, so that's an a plus b squared. Okay, so we can use our rule for perfect square trinomials. When they're separated by an addition sign, our rule is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay. When they're separated by an addition, then we have an addition sign right here. Okay? Plug in what we know. Our a is x plus 2 times x times b is 3y plus b squared. Okay? So b is 3y, so I need to square the 3 and the y. That's why I put it in brackets there. If I simplify, my answer here will be x squared plus 2 times x times 3y will give me 6xy. 3y squared is 9y squared. Okay, so there's my answer using the perfect square trinomial rule. Good. Now you'll notice in this one, I have an a minus b times an a plus b. Okay, I have a 9x minus 8 times a 9x plus 8. Okay, so in this case, we know we can use a difference of squares, and we know our answer is just going to be simply a squared minus b squared. So our a value is 9x. Put it in brackets for a. And my b value is 8. Okay, so put it in brackets for b. Good. If I simplify this, this will give me 81x squared minus 64. Okay? So there we go. We know how to use the perfect square trinomial rule, which is this here, and the difference of squares rule, which is this here. Okay? So if we have a binomial squared, okay, we use this perfect square trinomial rule. If we have a binomial multiplied by the same binomial, but with just the opposite sign, okay, we can use the difference of squares rule. Good. So here's the homework you can try just to practice those skills. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Other than that, thanks for watching.